Psalm 130 verse 5 says, I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in his word, I put my hope. Have you ever tried to do something that you know is super important, but for whatever reason, things just keep on coming up that stop you from getting it done? I mean, there are times where I will sit down to record my YouTube episodes and it just doesn't happen. The very fact that there has been something that stops me almost every single time leads me to believe that it is something that needs to be heard. And while it's easy to say, well, Shanta, just make the time. That's easier said than done, my friend. You know, despite the circumstances that we find ourselves in, despite the busyness of life, making the time to spend with God is something that is so essential to us deepening our relationship with Him. For those of you who know me, you would know about my time in the residential building and construction industry. But for those of you who are just getting to know me, Ta-da! <laughs> well, I spent about seven and a half years in the residential building and construction industry. I was doing project coordination, interior, exterior design, you know, and they were such valuable years, which if I'm honest, I'm only now beginning to realize exactly how valuable they were. One of the ways that God likes to talk to me is in the language that he knows I am gonna understand the most. And that is through construction plans and blueprints and colors and textures, basically many more elements that will really allow me to draw on my experience from that industry, to really pull from that industry experience that I had. And of late, I've been doing a lot of soul searching about putting my roots deep in God and the type of foundation that he wants me and you to have. Foundation just continuously seems to be the topic that keeps on coming up. Perhaps it's because of where I've been, but maybe, just maybe, I'm not the only one that needs this encouragement right now. We all know that having a solid foundation is essential for God to be able to build what he has planned for our lives. But here's the thing that I have been even able to draw of more of late and really be challenged by of late. That is the preparation that needs to take place before the foundation can even be laid. This has been and continues to be the same this has been and continues to be some of the most frustrating times with God. But I believe we all need it so that God can search us, He can mold us, He can prepare us the way that only He knows how. It's where our character begins to become more like Christ. So let's talk about the preparation. Before the foundation or a slab can be poured, there are certain things that need to happen. And in taking the time to write down these steps, I have been so overwhelmed at the similarities that God has us going through as we make the decision to go deeper with Him. I guess it also paves the way for knowing what is to come and also being able to navigate what is to come. In the building industry, the type of preparation that takes place is dependent on the type of foundation or slab that has to be poured. Similarly, the type of calling and the magnitude of the calling that God has placed over your life determines the type of preparation that is needed. But one thing is 100% certain, you will have preparation that needs to take place. First, there's the soil test. This is done so that we can tell what type of soil that we're dealing with. The reason why a soil test is absolutely necessary is because before a foundation can be determined, we need to know the characteristic of the soil. So a team goes in and conducts a soil investigation. It's used to determine the nutrient content. It's used to determine the composition and other characteristics like acidity or the pH level of the soil. It's also done at different depths and different times, but all can affect the result. I need you to know that even as I was preparing for this episode, I was literally shaking my head at the similarities between a soil test 
<laughs> and all the tests that I've personally been through in my life and all the tests that I know are still to come. It sounds a lot like what happens in our lives. While our foundation or our calling is already predetermined, we're still gonna face tests at different depths, at different times of our lives. Holy Spirit is always bringing up different parts of our character that need to be tweaked or changed to become like Christ. But God wants us to know that regardless of the circumstances we face, regardless of the tests that we go through, our response will always be the same because we are grounded in His Word. Then comes the land survey being conducted. I think we've all been at this stage and some, some, some of you are perhaps there right now. Another name for a land survey is a construction staking. So basically this is where the land is searched. It is locating, it is describing, it is monumenting, mapping out the boundaries and the corners of the land. It's done to ensure a project is built according to the engineer design plans. Ever heard that God's already mapped out your life? He is the master designer. I mean, he created the earth. I know that some of you watching this right now are being searched by God, even as we speak. Are you allowing him to search your heart and deal with your motives or are you fighting it? We all have to go through this at some stage. So as what God is trying to build in your lives, in my life, can be built according to the plans he has on our life. Next, there's the site scrape. Now, this is often a really, it's a time of real mixed emotions for the landowners. Initially, it's really quite exciting because finally, they can see some movement happening on their block of land. However, at the same time, it can also be extremely frustrating because there is still so much more that needs to be done before construction can even begin. The site scrape is necessary to remove any debris, any junk before the site cut is done, marking out exactly where the slab is going to be poured. Have you ever felt like you're having a site scrape in your life? where God has to come in and he has to remove any hurt, any pain, any trash from your life, perhaps take away any hardness of heart. I mean, I never even knew that I had even developed a hardness of heart in the process of moving over here to the United States until I allowed God to do a site scrape in my life. But it's part of the process that we have to go through. There's the laying of the plumbing pipes and the gas lines. All these things that are essential for a house to function with all the elements required. It's the same for us. Don't underestimate the little tasks that may seem insignificant in comparison to all the others, but vital for you to function to the full potential God intends for you to function at. Painful yet necessary. Then comes the framework. This is the boxing out, the reinforcing of the slab. And again, it may seem insignificant, but it is required for the slab to be poured correctly. This reminds me that I need to embrace all seasons of my life, including the ones that may seem insignificant. I'm gonna stop right here for a moment because I wanna share with you one of my favorite stories of preparation in the Bible. One day, a widow came to Elisha needing help to clear a debt. And Elisha was willing to help her because he knew her husband and that he was a God-fearing man. All she had in her house was a flask of olive oil. He told her to go and find as many empty jars as she could from her friends, from her neighbors. He then told her, to go into her house with her sons and shut the door behind her. She was to pour the olive oil from the flasks into the jars, setting each one aside when it was full. She did what was asked of her. Her sons would hand her the jars and as they did, she would fill them with olive oil and soon every container was full to the brim. But once the jars stopped coming, 
the olive oil stopped flowing. She was then told to sell the olive oil to pay off her debts and live off what was left over. Now, while this story on the surface is about obedience, there does seem to be a deeper lesson of this on preparation. If they had had more jars, would they have received more oil? I remember hearing Banning Liebscher say once, our level of preparation determines our level of outpouring. Let me say that again. Our level of preparation determines our level of outpouring. Here comes the concrete pour or the slab pour. <laughs> Once the concrete is poured, it gets flattened and smoothed. Now you need to allow the proper time for the slab to be cured and settled. Something significant to know is that once the concrete has been poured, the concrete increases in strength very quickly. There comes a stage in our life and our relationship with God where momentum and strength increase at a quickened pace. It's almost time for the structure to be built. It's almost time for a house to be built. But if you don't allow the concrete to cure for the full required time, then whatever you build upon it will not last. Just the same as if any of the preparation steps are missed in a bid to try and cut corners, then that's gonna affect the building phase. Sound familiar? Don't downplay your preparation. God isn't. What God is doing in your life is so significant, but he won't be able to build unless we go through every stage of preparation. So many of us try to take life into our own hands and be the designer when our plans are already complete. God has already predetermined what he is building in your life, in my life. This is as much speaking to me as I hope it is to you. Embrace where you are and know what is coming next, trusting that he already has it under control and he knows what he is doing. As much as I loved my time in the building industry, it was very stressful. I'm not gonna lie. It was very stressful making sure that everything was moving according to schedule. And I don't know about you, but I would much prefer to have the creator in charge of my schedule than stress myself out with worrying, making sure everything is moving. It's a game of trust. Do you trust that he knows what he is doing? Philippians 1 verse 6 says, And I am certain that God who began a good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Every step of your preparation is essential to where God wants to take you. 